best swimmers have the best innate understanding of hydrodynamics. Swimming is all about drag management. We want to be able to make our bodies as long and slender as possible so that drag doesn't hinder us. With freestyle, for example, I've been trying to get better at decreasing my frontal profile. And what that means is I used to extend forward um, with there being a pretty big gap between my shoulder and my jaw. And now I try to make sure that my head is a little further forward and my shoulder is extended so that this whole surface is no longer a drag area. Just very small things like that that you would normally never think of, but they make a big difference over the course of a race. Once you get to this level, you know, once you're an Olympian, it's very, very hard to get better. And so we're constantly looking for very little things that maybe we can tweak that somebody else might not see that's from, you know, Russia or Australia. We're always trying to stay like one step ahead of the world. Before 2011 even, I was, I was swimming with disconnections. So I thought about my kick, having a really strong kick. I thought about my arms. I didn't think of everything as one unit. Once I found that connection, it really took me to a whole new level. A really important part is, is timing the correct kick to a particular movement in your stroke. When you're swimming a butterfly kick, a lot of us are only kicking down and then our feet are sort of floating up. The best people in the world are kicking up and down and so you're getting propulsion from both. In freestyle, for instance, at the top of your stroke, the first thing you want to do when you catch is, is kick with that same leg, but you need to be able to transfer that energy and that momentum through your hips, through your core, into your shoulders. You have to stay connected through your whole body from your head to your core, all the way to a point in your feet when you're kicking. It looks very smooth and rhythmic, but I flex my abs almost as hard as I can and use my core as leverage swimming from side to side. You have to work on your core because all the strokes basically start from the core. Rocket calls it the canoe, where I just set my anchor and then twist my core and use that leverage to pull, just really using my whole body. We're always changing up little stroke techniques to try and become a faster swimmer. For me, it's just instead of keeping my hands closed, keeping my hands a little open, you actually pull more water when your hands are a little bit open in your swimming stroke. It takes countless hours of hard work and dedication, a lot of commitment and a lot of sacrifices. You need to be willing to go that extra mile. It's so easy to just show up to practice or show up in the weight room and go through the motions, but if you're truly invested and you know that's what you want to do, that's what makes you champion.